All right, so in this video, I'm just gonna give you guys a few things to do while you're here in Guadalajara, Mexico, AKA the city of fountains, AKA the gateway to tequila, and AKA Silicon Valley of Mexico. This city has a ton of nicknames. I also wanna add that the ebook guide for this city has been completed, so if anybody is planning a trip to Guadalajara, it's your first time, and you're looking for a guide that basically lays out everything, gives you tips, recommendations, places to go, cultural info, to help you during your stay here. If you're interested, link will be in the description. With all that being said, let's not waste any more time and let me get into the first thing to do while in Guadalajara, Mexico, and that is visiting the historic center. If you're looking to go back in time, this is the area you wanna visit. Ton of culture, ton of history, ton of monuments. You have theaters, cathedrals, museums, different walkways with shops and eateries, street performances. And also, the largest indoor market in Latin America is located here. It's called San Juan de Dios, where you'll find a ton of souvenirs, local cuisine, and then shopping if this is your type of atmosphere. This historic center, you can spend a whole weekend here and it shouldn't be missed. Now, since we're on the topic of historic centers, there are two more I want to touch on. I want to let you know that the Guadalajara metro area is made up of other cities as well. One to the west is Zapopan. The other one to the east is La Quepaque. Now, Zapopan has a historic center as well that you can visit. However, it's not its strength. This side of town is known for being more modern, more upscale. So I would visit Zapopan if you're into shopping as the best commercial centers, the best malls in Guadalajara are located on this side. Also your fine dining and your upscale restaurants, things of that nature. Now going to the east side, to La Quepaque, their historic center is definitely worth a visit. In comparison to the one in Guadalajara where you're gonna find your museums and the cathedrals. In La Quepaque, it's more of like a pueblo, of a town. Also the community here is known for its handicrafts and ceramics, pottery, so you'll see a ton of ceramic factories, a ton of tequila shops. They also have a very touristy place called Parrian, which I didn't go inside, but it's basically like a stage in the middle and surrounding the stage are tons of restaurants and bars where you can eat and watch live shows. One thing you can't miss out on is trying the local drink here. It's called Cazuela Voladora. And it's basically a tequila based cocktail served out of like a bowl with slices of oranges and limes. So definitely check that out while you're in town. Now that we have the historic centers out of the way, let's move back to Guadalajara like the actual city limits. If you know anything about Mexico, man, people down here, they love to drink. And every region practically has their spirit or beer of choice. One thing about Guadalajara is that they have many craft breweries. And one of the popular ones, if not the most popular, is a place called Cerveza Loba. I took a tour here where they explained to me about the company, showed me around the factory and explained to me about how they make their beer. All right, so it was pretty interesting. And obviously at the end of the tour, you get to do a tasting to try the different flavors that they have, which was cool. This place is located in Colonia Americana, which is one of the touristy neighborhoods. So chances are, if you're staying in Guadalajara, you're probably gonna be in this region. So I would definitely recommend visiting here. Now we're gonna stay on this drinking path and I'm gonna talk about another place you can go to try some local spirits. One of them is called Mezcal, which is a very popular spirit here in Mexico. They have a place in Guadalajara called Mezonte, where they promote and sell Mezcal. Also located in the Colonia Americana neighborhood, so chances are it won't be too far from you. When you go here, they'll explain to you about the process and, and the history of Mezcal. And then obviously, the best part, different tastings. And then at the end, you can purchase a bottle if you so choose. Next thing to do would be visiting the area called Chapultepec, which is an avenue that's very commercialized. And on both sides of the avenue, you're gonna have tons of restaurants, bars, a few clubs. And this is a very popular area to visit, especially on Saturdays where in the middle, they have stands and shops set up for people if you wanna purchase you know, souvenirs, handcrafts, they have street performances. For y'all who like to read, they sell books. Guadalajara is really huge on books. I believe they have the second largest book fair in the world right behind uh, right after Frankfurt Frankfurt Germany so it might sound weird but yes at night when people are partying at the same time they're selling books they're reading and drinking at the same time so uh, it's Guadalajara but getting back on track 
this avenue, Chapultepec is perfect if you want to experience the street food scene, the nightlife scene, and just the atmosphere once the sun goes down. These last two places are outside of the city. The first one is a town called Tequila, which is also considered the birthplace of the spirit Tequila. It's about 45 minutes out. You can catch an Uber, you can rent a car and drive down there yourself, catch a bus, or if you visit on a Saturday, which is a day that I recommend, they have a train, a Jose Cuervo train that goes back and forth from Guadalajara to the town. Now what to do here? Obviously, they have many tequila distilleries. However, the most popular one and the oldest in Latin America is called La Rojena which is also part of the Jose Cuervo brand, which is also the top selling tequila brand in the world as the making of this video. They have many different packages. The one I went with, if I remember correctly, is like Jose or like Cuervo y Campos. And what came with this package is first, we got a tour of their campus grounds to see the, the architecture and, and the garden, which was nice. And then afterwards, we went straight to the fields to see the agave plants, which is very interesting, man. Those agave plants are, are tall. After the fields, we went straight to their factory to learn about how they produce the tequila. Then we went to a back room for the tasting to try the different types at different stages of the aging process. Now I must say in the package, I didn't read, maybe I read it incorrectly, but I didn't see anything about food. However, I was not complaining that that was great. Hopefully when you go, that they also serve you food. Now once the tour is over, when you're in the town of Tequila, basically it's just time to drink. They have stands selling these drinks called Cantaritos, which is very popular in that town. You have live music playing. They got a place for children. They have a stand set up if you want to buy some knickknacks. They sell in tequila ice cream if you want to try that as well. If you want, you can stay in the town and visit other distilleries. Or you can easily make this a day trip like I did and just go there, drink a ton, and then head back. And last but not least, another day trip that you can do is to a town called Chapala. If you Google online, where are the most American expats? They usually say in the country of Mexico, and then they'll say this town, Chapala. I don't know how true that is, but the point I'm trying to make is you can visit here. It's supposed to be beautiful. I didn't go, but I heard a lot about it. The atmosphere, you have the lake. It's more of a quieter town where there's a boardwalk that you can stroll and then some restaurants and just sort of have like a relaxing day. Now, with all that being said, these are just a few things to do in Guadalajara. Keep in mind as the making of this video, there are a few other places that were shut down or permanently closed. So I wasn't able to see everything. Well, hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit. And remember, if you're visiting soon and you're looking for a guide to help you along the way with other things, the ebook will be in the description. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Hope the video has helped you guys. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.